border here in Costa Rica took something away from us. They took the sword away from us. Well, we got uh, another thing here. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna use this, but we don't let anything else them to take from us, okay? Tomorrow we come out and we give 100%, like it's last final. There's no games after that, last final. So we show these guys who's Canada, who's new Canada. All right, boys, tips. Here you go. I've been messing up the last couple of times. I think I'll get this one right. All right, boys. Get in closer. Get in closer. Get in. Get in closer. 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 This is security. Yeah! One, two, three, press! When you look at that World Cup, I don't know what it says to you, what it speaks to you, but it tells me the biggest event on the planet. The date is March 21st, 2022. And here again, in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, the Canadian team has come together once more as they prepare to mount their final ascent to the summit of their World Cup mission. The task is clear. One solitary point from the final three games will see Canada book its place at the FIFA World Cup in Qatar. Well, I think the country's been working for 30 plus years to get to this moment. It's, you know, a lot of things have came into play. There's been work done years ago that uh, have created foundations for what's going to happen now. You know, the staff that have been evolving through Olympic experiences, World Cup experiences, that are bringing their expertise to the table. We respect everything that's, that's gone before us, but this is a special time. We, we've got a team with a really clear mind and purpose. We've got talent, and, and when you've got talent with clear purpose, I think anything's possible, and, and anything is possible for this group of men. Uh, we can't get ahead of ourselves and, and start, you know, drinking the Kool-Aid. It's, it, it's clear, like, we have to get through these games. We have to qualify, or this is, it's all for nothing. It's, it's an amazing, thing to be a part of, um, to see how it's really, you know, turned around and uh, to see the level that we've come to, uh, to see how strong the team is and, and how much we are, uh, you know, a unit, uh, a brotherhood, um, and to have the country behind us the way, you know, that the country is behind us. So, um, yeah, it's, it's something that I, I always dreamt of seeing and, and didn't really know if I would get that chance to to feel it and experience it. And I'm just, you know, very uh, appreciative and, and grateful to be, you know, still putting on the jersey, performing and, and playing for, you know, Canada and to have the group that we have. Following a brief stay in Florida, the team take to the skies once again. The destination this time is San Jose, Costa Rica. In the heart of Central America, 
Canada stand on the verge. If they can secure even a draw in this stadium, they will accomplish their goal. As the teams arrive at the Estadio Nacional, the atmosphere is electric. Another sweltering night under the lights brings another opponent fighting for their World Cup lives. Costa Rica must defeat Canada to stay alive in the hunt for a place in Qatar. Welcome to Costa Rica. Welcome to CONCACAF. And no one said it would be easy. Will this be the night? Canada within touching distance of World Cup qualification for the first time since 1986. With every ball being fiercely contested, the teams remain locked in a scoreless draw until the 34th minute when the match changes in an instant. Looks like the card could potentially be going to Venegas. What? We'll get a view, and it actually goes to Mark Anthony Kay. Fortunate the first time, sees yellow just a moment after he was down on the field. Instead of the ball being played out, the play continued. I think he shoves him over, it just gives him a little push. Venegas, he's frustrated. All the other two players in the area are David Laren. Goes in the direction of Kyle Laren, he's there! Calvo just did enough to hold Laren off the ball. Tiba was there. As the second half gets underway, with the Canadian side down to 10 men and battling a hostile crowd, many would have expected to see a team in retreat. But with the knowledge that one single goal here could send them to the World Cup, John Herdman's men produce a heroic second half performance. Boriad stays, Joel Campbell! Boriad stops, keeps it out! Tiba. Jonathan David pulls it back! That was close! Lorea's on the far post. David goes near post. Eustachio! So close! Good move inside. Lorea! Lorea! Saved by Navas! The rebound off the bar! Buchanan a second chance! Lorea! Navas! Lorea! Across! Off the post! Despite battering the Costa Rican goal for much of the second half, Canada's 17 match unbeaten run in qualifying has come to an end. Hey, one second. When 
we do this, we get in that dressing room, we get ready, we get the fuck out of here, right? No fucking moving around, we get on to the next job. Yeah, straight in, straight out, we're home. Heads high, boy. Hey, what a fucking performance. We did everything, we missed one fucking goal. We were all over these guys. Same mentality next game, and we fucking get it done. Come on, boys, let's go. Brothers are three. One, two, three. Yes. After traveling through the night, the team arrive back in Toronto. As they make their way to BMO Field for the one and only training session ahead of the next match against Jamaica, the team are traveling to a fortress. Since construction of this stadium in 2007, Canada have never lost a competitive game on this piece of grass. If they can keep this streak going for one more game, they are going to the FIFA World Cup. Well, fine here at Mimo Field in front of our fans and our families, uh, it, it would be a dream come true. It would be everything. It would mean so much to us. Uh, honestly, just I think the best way to describe it is a dream and um, I think it's what this uh, program deserves. It's what we, we, we deserve with all the hard work that's been put in and, um, and I think it's kind of destiny that, that we do it here at home. You know, it's amazing how things work and we have a, a huge opportunity to make history here tomorrow. We know what's at stake and this is our dream on the line here. So, you know, we've, we've been working so hard and, and for so long for this moment. And so we're going to come out with literally with everything that we got. I know it's going to be the best atmosphere that Canada soccer has ever seen in their history. Um, you know, the buzz in, in this country for, for football is I think it's at the highest it's ever been. And with everything going on, it's, you know, it's gonna be incredible. It's gonna be an incredible, incredible atmosphere, an incredible game, and uh, an incredible day. Guys, other side, come, come on this side too. Closer, closer, closer yeah. Closer, closer, closer. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. oh, don't joke with that. All right, boys, we're uh, we're here at home. This is here for us now. It's time for us to go out there and f them up tomorrow. Um, do what we've been doing. Last game was a perfect learning experience for us. The way we went out there and played, uh, we showed real character. We showed how brave we are as a team, how strong we are as a team. Tomorrow, we take it in our hands and. Kill him. It's our day tomorrow, boys. Let's make history here in this country. Make everybody very proud of us. All right? It's our time, boys. Here we go. Hope a good one today. <laughs> yeah! Let's go. Let's go, boys. Brothers are three. One, two, three. Brothers! As dawn breaks on the morning of March 27th, a sense of great anticipation fills the Toronto air. Canada! Canada! With nearly 30,000 fans descending on BMO Field, draped in Canada red, the team arrives, greeted by a frenzied Canadian crowd. With Jamaica already eliminated, and both the Canadian team and their fans inspired by the occasion, the pre-match atmosphere rivals the best in the history of Canadian football.
Canada come out of the blocks like a red and white freight train. On this day, there will be no stopping this team. Junior Hoyland, choose your adventure. Eustachio, take home! As the clock ticks towards 90 minutes, there are glorious scenes of Canadian patriotism and jubilation. your childhood dreams come true and to me it honestly was dreams that I never even really even was able to have you know always going out playing in the backyard pretending to be England or pretending to be France someone like that um, because thinking of playing for Canada in a World Cup was just too far-fetched that even a young boy playing in his backyard pretending he's Zinedine Zidane seemed more realistic than playing for Canada in a World Cup. Back in the days as a youth, seeing this tournament and just not even not even thinking that one day I wanted to play there, but just enjoying the environment, enjoying the festival, everything, the games, and now to to have the opportunity to to play, to play a, the tournament, to play a game, to play Belgium, to play Croatia, to play Morocco, it's gonna be unforgettable. And it felt like. Everything made sense, like mission accomplished at that point. Uh, seeing all the emotions on the guys' faces, I was for sure crying on the field. Uh, seeing all the guys hug each other, the, the way the fans, some fans crying, it was euphoria that day at, at BMO Field. So definitely a moment I'll, I'll never forget.
What, what does your journey tell the world about what is possible? You know, I think it's people who, who hear the journey, they, they understand that there is no limits. And that's what this group uh, have been tasked with more than anything, to, to inspire others in this country that anything is possible. Yeah, so dreams, dreams are all here in this stadium. We're here now. Let's go and make the most of this. Let's put our country on the map. Let's all make each other proud, make our families proud, everybody that's behind us proud. We've worked so hard to be in this position here now. So let's go and take it tomorrow. Let's start flying. Let's fight for each other. All right, let's do it, boys, tomorrow. Yeah! yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Brothers up three. One, two, three, brothers! brothers.